Many short oval racers end up racing on the long circuits as part of a career progression as they see it, but uh, one man who went kind of the other way with that was Damon Wellman who races two litre hot rods these days. He's had a wealth of experience on the long tracks in all sorts of cars, saloons, single seaters, still involved doing track days. Tell us a little bit about your CV. Uh, well, started with Speedworth, as you know, Paul. Um, mini stocks, then stock rods, and then we decided to go to the long circuits. Uh, Formula Ford, Formula 2000, what was then Formula Renault, uh, Renault Sport, saloon cars, some touring cars, Formula 3, and then eventually back to Speedworth. Yeah, yeah you came back with the unique camouflage coloured 1300 stock car, as I recall. That was your, your re returning machine, wasn't that? Wow, your memory's better than mine, Paul. Uh, yes, yes, you're right. We did. We had a camouflage coloured stock car. Yeah, that was good fun. That was. It was nice to come back from serious racing, having done it as a career for 10 years, um, to actually come back to something that you are just doing for fun. And that's what, unfortunately, many people forget is the fact that we are doing this for fun. Yeah, and of course, I suppose at the serious end of circuit racing, there's not a heck of a lot of fun about it, it's all business, but how close did you get to a Formula One seat? I mean, you've been in them for test purposes, I believe. I have been in there for test purposes. Um, I, I think it was 90, late 90s, 97, 98. Um, I finished second in the uh, British F3 uh, for uh, B-class. Um, so we were racing all across Europe, Spa, Belgium, um, Zandvoort in Holland, um, various various circuits as well as obviously all the British circuits um, but you get to the stage with long circuit racing especially in single seaters where what you win is the ability to spend more money the following year right and the budgets uh, just climb and climb and climb but you're still a little bit involved in that sort of thing but it's good to see you back in the in oval racing where it seems to me where your heart really is and you've just managed a bit of a unique thing in, the, in being an English hot rod driver you went to Ireland the other week and won a race Yes, yes, we uh, went to Ireland and managed to take one of the trophies away from the Irish. Unfortunately, it wasn't the important one, um, but uh, yeah, we uh, had a heat win out there, had a really good weekend. Um, it's just a shame that the uh, the main race didn't go as well as we'd like to have, to have done. But uh, but yeah, to overcome home, you know, from Ireland and take one of their trophies and bring it back here um, is is nice to do. Yeah, because the heat win for your championship put you somewhere towards the front of the grid in the main event. I take it, and that made you a little bit of a target. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, uh, finishing. Uh, um, the, as you say, finishing first, and then I think we had an eighth in the second heat off the back, which was great. Um, but it did put us on a, a grid draw for second, third, and fourth. Unfortunately, um, call it English luck, but we drew fourth out of the hat, and that's how it is. But it put us on the outside. Um, if we'd have been on the inside, it would have been a whole different ball game. But unfortunately, you got 35 cars are all going into that corner, um, and the only ones that are going to break are the first two or three cars. And unfortunately, I was in that first two or three cars, and the other 30. Two cars behind us didn't seem to bother a break. <laughs> That's an unfortunate turn of events, but not entirely unexpected when the competition is as intense as that. It's the World Championship coming up soon. Are you uh, down for that? Unfortunately not, no. Um, although, you know, we are prepared to travel. Unfortunately, South Africa is just uh, a little bit out of our budget and a little bit far to go. And unfortunately, as I say, it tends to be forgotten that this is a hobby and we do it for a bit of fun. We we can't race at every single meeting, uh, you know, we'd like to, um, but the travel costs, etc, etc, we just can't afford to do it. So I, I've kind of done the whole travelling thing, living out of a suitcase um, and going all over the, all over Europe uh, to go racing and spending a lot of time in America and stuff. So we're, we're with Speedyworth to have fun. Obviously Eastbourne is a great track for us because it's 20 minutes down the road, but you know, we still go to Yarmouth, we go to Ipswich and we travel to Ireland. Um, South Africa, you bit too far for us. Great stuff. Well, you've had practice tonight and uh, you've got a little bit of a misfire with the car first thing. But is that going to go away, do you think? Possibly. Dad seems to think it's because I washed it. So it could be a little bit damp, but um, we'll see. It's it's classic racing car stuff. We did four races in Ireland. The car didn't miss a beat. It was absolutely perfect. It's sat in the workshop. We've cleaned it, pulled it here. It's got a misfire. That's racing cars. I'm sure it's going to come out well tonight. Damon, great. Nice to talk to you and good luck on your home track this evening. Thank you very much, Paul. Cheers.